forage fish give life to everything in the Puget Sound. As we all look at southern resident recovery and we know the struggle that they face, we often look at salmon. Forage fish are essential to salmon and salmon are essential to orcas. For us, as a whale watching company, you can't put all your eggs in one basket. You have to look at the source, the beginning. You have to go back in the food chain and that starts with forage fish. Long Live the Kings embarked on about a 10 year effort to understand why juvenile salmon and steelhead were dying in the Salish Sea. There were many things that are driving the decline and forage fish just stood out as one that is really, really important. One of the forage fish species in Puget Sound that we're focusing on for salmon's sake is Pacific herring. Over the past several decades, Puget Sound herring spawning stock biomass has generally declined overall. Almost half of the natural shoreline habitat in Puget Sound has been lost. This has major consequences for herring, and we've seen changes in distribution, including loss of some southern spawning sites. I remember growing up and he'd tell me stories about, you know, when he was a little boy, he could remember they'd go down to the mud flats. They'd fish for herring and flounder, you know, and I can always remember him telling me that they'd stay down there all day and, you know, whatever they caught, they came home and fried up. My father always talked about the importance of our natural resources, the importance of our treaty rights, and the importance of our salmon. That is who we are as Nisqually people. Because as human beings, when, when our salmon are coming home, when our rivers are clean and healthy, we as human beings should be healthy. We're currently working with Nisqually Indian Tribe on a range of projects in the Nisqually region. First, we're surveying existing eelgrass habitat, and we're also contributing to an understanding of when and where herring are using those habitats in Nisqually. Tribal members for thousands of years would take cedar boughs and put them down in the Nisqually Delta and in shorelines like this to harvest herring row during the, the right seasons in late winter, early spring. The second portion of this project is supplementing habitat at a site where habitat has been lost by placing evergreen branches or cedar boughs into the water for herring to spawn on. It took a while to incorporate the traditional knowledge with the science, but we're there now doing this project and we're really excited about the possibilities of this work. LLTK's role in this project is the same as it is for our other projects, and it's where we excel most as an organization, identifying a problem and then convening the right people and funders to address it. Actions that we need to take to benefit herring and other forage fish are also actions that directly benefit salmon populations. The science that we're going to gain from this herring project will lead to practical applications on the ground and the ability to share that information broadly is really important and Long Live the Kings has that ability with a greater community connection across Puget Sound to take the work that we're doing together here and bring it to the Stillaguamish or the Nooksack. But we're kind of um, focused around what's best for Nisqually and having Long Live the Kings work throughout Puget Sound is best for Nisqually. This is just one example of where the Salish Sea Marine Survival Project helped point towards ways we can move forward to address ecological impacts to our juvenile salmon. We see opportunities in forage fish, in changing the way we look at the diversity of our salmon populations, in trying to understand and better get a handle on predation. The Salish Sea Marine Survival Project was the largest research of endeavor of its kind for the Salish Sea. We successfully applied over 90 studies throughout the basin to come up with very meaningful results and how we can move forward in turning science to action. We are a trusted party throughout the Salish Sea Basin and we expect that will continue to help us be successful as we move forward. What gives me hope is partnerships with Long Live the Kings. We, we all get to the table together to hopefully, you know, realize what our end goal is and that's bringing back our salmon.